So I'm really very pleased to be here again in uh, Lisbon six years later, the 2005 uh, Lisbon Annual Congress, the Prayer Annual Congress, and uh, I'm very happy to open this Spring Symposium. Uh, let me start thanking um, Mafalda Eero Gomez, um, David Phillips, Philip Young and Bruno Maral, who organized this symposium called Beyond Online. Well, actually, I think we all are very curious to understand and to learn what is beyond online, what is the next step. Um, I would also like to thank uh, Professor Verissimo, President of the Escola Superior de Comunicação Social, uh, for hosting us in such a beautiful location. Thank you. As you probably know, uh, this symposium represents a sort of turning point for the Uprera Symposia organization because uh, of two quite important changes that we decided in the General Assembly in uh, Chivascula. First of all, we have opted for a shorter format, no more than two days, including traveling for these events, and we have decided, decided to plan uh, them far in advance, uh, as we did already for the annual congresses. These changes are aimed to both stimulate and facilitate the participation of Uprera members and PR scholars to out and, uh, practition and practitioners. Secondly, we have decided to use uh, the symposium as a platform to foster the Uprera innovation cycle by hosting meetings, meetings of Uprera project groups and presenting the results reached by the project groups themselves. This is quite as an, an important change because from 2012 on, the symposium won't be any longer focused only on Euroblog, uh, which is still uh, the active just as a Uprera project. In other words, we can say that the Spring Symposium will become a very important tool to improve Uprera's mission and strategy, which is to create and disseminate knowledge and uh, innovation. Now, I would like to draw your attention to some other uh, ongoing changes in Uprera. We are developing our European and international network and the sign of this evolution is that the Global Alliance invited us to enter into their board as the representative of the educational institutions. This means that Uprera will be recognized by an important international organization such as Global Alliance as a point of reference in research and educational areas. We are also strengthening our visual identity, uh, changing how oh, we should submit to you our new logo uh, and understand what you think about it um, because the Uprera will become at least in our intention more recognizable. A proposal, a pro a proposal by the board will be presented and uh, discussed tomorrow in the General Assembly. We have introduced and you, as you certainly know, since January 1st, 2011, a few changes in the management of our association Firstly, the board's activities will be supported by a new, a new treasurer, Etienne Kleist, that unfortunately had to leave to pick up a, a, a plane. Uh, he was here for our board uh, this afternoon. Uh, he is quite interesting because for the first time in Uprera, he is a, we have a treasurer as a practitioner. They will sh this uh, will surely have a, a positive uh, impact on, bo on the board's work. Secondly, the board's composition has been partly renewed and I want to introduce you our new director, Adela Rodriguez-Gilaro. There she is. Oh, there. There she is. Uh, from Bucharest in uh, Romania. So we have a representative from, from Eastern countries and the new president-elect, uh, Valérie Carayon, from Bordeaux in France. Uh, Valérie will become president 
uh, January 1st, uh, 2012. So, finally, let me welcome you all and wish you an enjoyable and fruitful symposium.